guys, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. My name is Matthew Sturkey with Stone Mill Log and Timber Homes. Thanks for joining us today. Last week we talked about tips for planning. Uh, this week we're going to talk about design tips and we're uh, lucky and privileged today to be joined by our special guest Stephen Stepien uh, from our design department. Stephen is going to talk about tips for designing your log or timber frame home. Stephen, uh, you've been doing this a long time. What are your uh, favorite tips, what are the best tips that you think you can give a prospective client uh, who is looking to, to build a log or timber frame home? Uh, my, my tips would be, uh, one, uh, wall thickness. Uh, we have a lot of clients that come in uh, with drawings that they have produced on a piece of paper, okay. uh, cocktail napkin, graph paper, and you know, they all draw a line for a, a wall. So if you've got a six inch wall here, a four inch wall here, a four inch wall here, I said over the span of your house, you lose two feet. Okay. So uh, clients come in and say, well, I draw, drew it on, on the plan, you know, how come it doesn't fit? It's right. it, and all, almost always that is the answer is the wall, they miss the wall thicknesses so that they don't really take that into account. Right. So that's one. So um, if you draw a 40 by 28, and you don't account for those thicknesses, you're really not getting a 40 by 28 space. Correct. Gotcha. Correct. Uh, the second one would be uh, probably furniture placement. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of clients say, um, you know, they'll put windows on one wall and windows on another wall and then wonder where they're gonna place their bed because it was kind of an afterthought. Okay. Uh, so furniture placement, if people have a, an heirloom, um, you know, some kind of furniture that they're keeping, um, you know, if they give us dimensions of that, you know, we can show blocks. Uh, but yeah, definitely furniture placement. Okay. Uh, another one would be stairs. Okay. Uh, they take up considerably more space than you think they would. All right. Uh, you know, we, we default to three and a half to four feet wide. And sometimes, you know, on a, on a straight run staircase, it could be 12, 13, 14 feet long. Okay. So they take up uh, considerably more space than you can think than you think they would. Gotcha, gotcha. So stair stair placement is that something that you can help a prospective client with, and uh, being able to designate what space they would need in order to fit that staircase into their design. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes, uh, you know we have uh, you know parameters that we have to work within, okay. but you know if uh, you have a second floor, uh, if you don't have a second floor, stairs are pretty easy. Uh, if you have a second floor, you know, a main floor, second floor, and a basement, you know, those get a little trickier. But uh, yeah, we can definitely help with clients with that. Great, great. So, is that any other tips that you can think of, or is that it? Is that it for today? That is it for the day. Good. Well, thank you so much, uh, Stephen, for joining us today for Tip Tuesday. That uh, concludes the Tip Tuesday for this week. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please join us again next week for more Tip Tuesday. Until then, stay safe and healthy and take care. Mm -hmm.